Hello, good evening everyone. Today we will discuss about the intensity of electric field due to a point charge. That is, how can we calculate the electric field due to a point charge at a certain distance from the point charge. As uh, in the last class, we already discussed about uh, the intensity of electric field and the electric field of a charge but today we are going to calculate the expression write the expression for the electric field intensity due to a point charge so here let me consider a point charge q is at a point o in any medium it may be air vacuum or any dielectric medium and a point p this at a distance r from the point charge where the electric field is to be calculated ye given point charge hai capital q kyunki kisi bhi medium mein ek point o pe rakha gaya hai aur isse r distance pe point hai p jahan pe hame electric field calculate karna hai what will be the value of the electric field at the point p and for this we already know that because the electric field intensity is depend upon the force acting on a charge placed at a point so we need an other charge because the electrostatic force can be exist between two charges not a single charge so here must be an other charge that is a test charge so to calculate the electric field intensity at the point p we have to put an other charge that is q not q not is simply a positive test charge okay which has the very small value such as it cannot create its own electric field around it it can only detect the presence of other charge so once again i repeat this is a point charge capital q placed at a point o and this is a point p at a distance r from the point charge where the electric field is to be calculated for the calculation of electric field a positive test charge q not is here and now according to the concept we have to calculate the electrostatic force between these two charges capital q and q not and this force must be divided by the test charge q not then we have the electric field intensity at the point p so simply the topic is intensity of electric field due to a point charge this is the topic for drive the expression we have to assume that let a point charge q is placed at a point o and a point p is situated at a distance r from the point charge q where the electric field is to be calculated and for this we have to put a positive test charge q not at the point p so let me calculate what will be the force acting on the test charge q not due to this charge q the force on test charge q not due to the charge q f f equals to according to formula 1 upon 4 pi f n is not if the charge is in a medium then f must be the dielectric constant of medium q as a q1 q not as a q2 and r is square it is the distance between the charges 
so this is the force between two charges capital q and q not means the force exerted by this charge q on the charge q not now if e be the intensity electric field at the point p then according to the formula we have the electric field intensity at a point in the electric field is equals to the ratio of force exerted by the charge which produces the electric field on the positive test charge to the magnitude of the positive test charge means इस Q0 चार्ज पे जितना फोर्स ये अप्लाई कर रहा है उसको अगर हम इस Q0 की वैल्यू से डिवाइड कर लें तो इस पॉइंट पे इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड चल जाएगा नाउ दिस इज F अपॉन Q0 एंड फ्रॉम हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ F देन 1 अपॉन 4 बाय एफएलएम नॉट Q Q0 r स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय Q0 Q0 इज कैंसिल the remaining value is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught k q upon r square this is the electric field due to a point charge and if the point charge q is placed in air or vacuum then k equals to 1 for this and e equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught only k is 1 for air or vacuum and the formula is q upon r square this is the value of electric field intensity due to a point charge so we can write the expression by using this concept and we can write the theory related to this term and I think it should be clear now. Once again, I repeat what we have got from this expression. For drawing the expression for the electric field, let me consider a point charge Q is placed in a medium at a point O, and consider a point P is at a distance r from the point charge. And point P is the observation point where the electric field is required. To calculate the electric field at the point P, we have to put a positive test charge Q0 at the point P. And then we have to calculate the force acting on the positive test charge due to the point charge. But after calculating this force, we have to divide, we have to divide this force by the positive test charge. Then we have the electric field intensity at the point P. Now the expression for the electric field intensity at any point P at a distance R from the charge which generates the electric field is given by E equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon R square. If the charge is in air or vacuum, if the charge is placed in a medium which have the dielectric constant K, then we can write K here now the expression is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught k q upon r square for the medium. This is the simple expression for the electric field intensity and this expression can be used to calculate the electric field. So we can understand by an example. Then we consider one question which clear uh, the use of this formula. Like we have a charge, question 1, the two F12 microcolumn is given. Calculate the electric field from this charge at a distance 5 centimeter. 
I repeat my question. Let me have a point charge Q, 12 micro coulomb, which is placed in air or vacuum anywhere. And we have to calculate the electric field intensity due to this point charge at a distance 5 cm from the charge. So according to the given condition, let the charge Q is here. And this is the observation point P, which is at a distance R. Or in the condition, the Q is given 12 micro coulomb and R is given 5. So the electric field at the point P is at the point P is E equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon r square because we already know that the value of 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square so this is the value of constant now the e is 9 into 10 to the power 9 Q is given 12 micro coulomb. Micro coulomb can be converted into the coulomb by multiplying the 10 to the power minus 6 and R is square. This is in centimeter. So it has to convert in meter. 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 in meter. Its square is 25 into 10 to the power minus 4. So we have. One hundred eight divided by twenty five into ten to the power by collecting the power. This is four in numerator. These are positive four nine and four thirteen and thirteen minus six seven. So ten to the power seven is here but positive. And uh, when we divide this value twenty five four the hundred or so just eight is remaining. And the zero is there, and after zero there is a point. So sorry. Four times it is hundred. Now eight is remaining. After a point, it will become eighty. Now twenty-five three to seventy-five. And again it is five. Now uh, twenty-five two to fifty. Four point three two into ten to the power seven. Newton per coulomb and what is its direction? The charge is positive and direction is outward from the charge along OP. This is the direction. So that's all for today. In the next class, we will discuss the next topic. Till then, goodbye.